Our next guest is a fashion designer whose appreciation of both East and West, modern and traditional, shines through in all her work. And her latest collection is no exception. Released in time for Eid, it's inspired by the Ottoman Empire. The designer is Lamia Abedin, founder of Queen of Spades, and she joins us now in studio. Welcome, Lamia. Hello, hi. All right, well, that's a beautiful abaya you have on. Is that one of yours? It is. It's actually from my latest collection, the Sultan collection, and it's called the Jilbab Abaya. It's actually two in one. You, you get a glimpse of the jalabi and you also get a glimpse of the abaya. And why so, is that important to have the jalabi and the abaya? I thought it would be something interesting for Ramadan to get both because we, norm we normally wear the jalabiyas during Ramadan as well. So I thought it would be something interesting to blend the two together. Well, it is beautiful. Now, speaking of the Sultan collection, it is the second collection that you've come out with during the period of Ramadan. What makes this one different from the last one? Well, the last one was about the 60s, and it has nothing to do with, with the one right now. Mm -hmm. um, you see, I like to do completely different collections from season to season. The previous one was called Vintage Hollywood, which has nothing to do as well with this one. But um, this time I was thinking more of history, more of culture, so I thought the Ottoman Empire was the best inspiration for me. Uh, it's very rich with history, it's very rich with um, the mosaics, the architecture, even the social monarchy at that time, the way they used to dress, all those were very interesting elements I thought would be excellent for this collection. Now, why Ramadan? I mean, it's the second time you've released a collection in Ramadan. Yes. Why is it a good time? Well, Ramadan is the perfect time, actually, because this is the time where we actually get ready, you know, we get our Eid uh, stuff all ready for, um, you know, celebration. So I, th I think um, people like to sort out their wardrobes just you know, in Ramadan, ready for Eid. Now, you've got 50 new pieces in your collection, so the Sultan collection, and each of them is a unique piece. That's, That's correct. True. That's correct. So, no other client, I mean, a, one, a client of yours would not have a duplicate that someone else has? Not in the same city, not. But uh, definitely, um, I like to keep the concept of one of a kind in all my collections since I started. And I feel it gives it some uh, exclusiveness, you know. Um, the lady who purchases the abaya will feel that this is only owned by her in that city. It, it gives more confidence to the lady as well, you know. Um, it makes it more special as well in her wardrobe. And you never have to worry about turning up to a party and have see someone else wearing the exact same dress. Of course, dress. and it is a woman thing, you know. We normally go and we go and purchase a, a dress. We normally say, how many pieces have you sold of that? How many? So, yeah, it keeps them sure that they're the only ones wearing my piece. Well, that's definitely not my problem. I look exactly <laughs> the same wherever I go. We Talk can change the candora if you want. We, we should. Give them like a little makeover. But talking about women, what kind of clientele do you have? Uh, I have actually very diversified clientele, and I really say it with a lot of pride. Um, I have... Uh, uh, Arabs and non-Arabs. We have Tunisians. We have. Uh, I have uh, French. I've had a New Yorker. I've had um, Lebanese. I've had, of course, all the GCC countries. We have Qatar. We have Oman. We have Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, um, Dubai. <laughs> so they're like, I've had. I have quite a diversified clientele, and it's nice that they're picking it up because uh, we, you know, we have people who are living, who are non-Arabs living abroad, mm -hmm. and there are some abayas of mine that I make are convenient for them. All right, well, you've already made it all over the world. What's next for Queen of Spades? The next is the next collection, which is during Eid al-Abha, inshallah. Well, Lamia, it's been such a pleasure having you on the show with us, and good luck with the Eid collection. Thank I you. I can't very wait much. to see it. Thanks a lot. Thank you.